Cubs? No. I had an item. All right, guys. Uh, please ignore the scoreboard. This match in progress is the hot seat match. They had just, uh, you know, usually they have a warm-up period, but uh, they got this started right now. Welcome uh, to PV Pool. This is the hot seat match of the uh, NAPT Desert Challenge live from Griff's in Las Vegas. And we're going to be joined in the box by two legends of the game and two friends of mine who I am I'm just in awe of uh, and uh, honored to be around that is good that is uh, none other than six-time world champion Jimmy pretty boy Floyd the original pretty boy Floyd Mattia and and also you've heard her before uh, she was on our show yesterday and uh, day before, Mary Keniston. Hi, everybody. And uh, I'm going to give the mic to Jimmy, and I hope you guys have a great time. And thank you both for sitting in with us on POV Pool. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everybody, Jim's wrestling with his with his headset here. Okay. This is the is the headrest. It shouldn't go on your ear. It goes up here. Only the speaker on one side. All right, am I good to go? You're good to Mary, go. Mary, a pleasure being with you. <laughs> How have you been? No doubt. <laughs> How have you you're been? One of the, you're one of the old chimers. Old I mean, school, huh? That's right. We got some old school here. When, well, that was I think the first time I saw you was in 76 at the World 14-1 in New York City. 76, yeah, I was, uh, more than likely I was maybe there. Yeah, you were, you were, we were. Anyway, this is a, uh, back to the match, or to the match. This is a real contrast in styles here. We have the very explosive and quick shooting Vivian Villarreal, and we have the very methodical, deliberate, yep. Uh, Karen Core. This is like a, a doctor against a gunslinger. <laughs> okay, and uh, the score is 1 0. And who has the one? Do you have any idea, Daniel? They started the match without telling us. Okay, Vivian leads the match 1 0. Oh, well, that was fast. Did she make the nine on the break? Or, or They're what playing happened? ten ball. Oh, ten, ball, ten ball, I mean. Uh, and the ten ball does not count on the break. I see. So that was a safety, and it looks like it was a successful one. She's going to have to kick uh, to the either the end rail and really spin it with the low left. Maybe she might be able to, okay, I was going to say, oh, I'll pull out the jump cue. See, that's always the last thing I think of because... Jump cue. Yeah. Things have changed yes. uh, tremendously over the years, as you know, Mary. And yes. A lot of different rules today, a lot of different equipment. It's uh, not like back in the 30s and 40s when we were playing. <laughs> Maybe 30s and 40s for you. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm not as old as you are, Jim. <laughs> oh, Karen. Okay, just a uh, mistake. Correction. Karen Core is up 1-0. I'll tell you, this is an NFL Sunday. I love to watch the football, but when I heard the women were playing down here, I said, that's the end of the football. <laughs> I want to tell you something, and it's the truth. Uh, throughout the years, for many, many years, I would much rather watch the women than the men. To me, it's a, it's a treat for me to watch the women play. Well, you're not the only uh, person, only male that feels that way. Now I know that obviously a lot of them um, like to watch the women play just because they're women, but a lot of players, people that you know, know how to play, mm -hmm. love to watch the women and over the years we're playing better and better and better. Oh, I'm, better. I'm, a, I'm amazed in the last 30, 35 years everything that the women have learned so far about this game and it amazes me uh, how well they play. Uh, and, and 
in the old days, we didn't have YouTube and the internet and right. videos and uh, and all of all of that kind of stuff. It was very tough to learn, and and information was closely held, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Well, with the men, I know what the men are going to do before they even shoot. But the women now, this is a different breed of pool, okay? And sometimes I am wondering myself, I wonder what she's going to do here. What is she thinking, you know? And that's why I enjoy watching the women so much. Well, the, the better players like Karen and Allison and so on um, play. That was very uncharacteristic, by the way, of Karen bumping into a ball. Uh, really, it was. It was. But anyway, uh, she's lucky she has a shot. But uh, Karen plays patterns more like a man. Yeah. And no doubt you can tell when a girl puts her hand on it on a table and it's flat, uh, you know that she's a snooker player, no doubt. <laughs> yes. The last match I, I, I watched, I was at home. And the, well, not the last match. The Karen Core Allison Fisher match was on, and I, I came on at 3 3. And were you here when that match happened? No, no. Yeah, what a great match. And then it had the most unbelievable ending I have ever seen. And you know all the pool matches I've sweated over the years. Oh, uh, that's a lot of matches. Okay. Well, Karen jawed the case 10 ball to win the game. Which, that's not so unusual. I mean, it's unusual that she missed it, but not so unusual. I've seen people miss the, the money ball a million times. Allison's hanging in the jaws. Allison shoots it and scratches in the side pocket. As soon as it hit that end rail, I said to, I said to myself, she's going to scratch. And she did. And we had just been talking about that yesterday, about making them shoot the 10. You know, I've seen a mm -hmm. miscue and... Was it a hill hill it match? Was hill, well, it was seven. It was six five. It was it was Karen's hill to win the match, and then it would have tied it up, six six. Mm -hmm. And Allison scratching the side. Yeah. You were there in Disneyland. Do you remember when David Howard and Danny Medina were uh, hill hill in the finals, and and David Howard just would leaped up in the air and and then came down in one stroke to the, the nine ball, you know, showing off and miscued. It's hanging, uh, it's hanging in front of the hole. Just showing off, yeah. that's all. Yeah, just showing off. <clears throat> so Danny won the tournament. But no, I've always gotten a kick out of uh, watching the women play. It's uh, more fun for me than it ever was watching the men play. And I go back a long way with the women. I mean, I was, I've been watching the women since 1965. And back in the days of... Uh, Dorothy, Dorothy Wise, Wise. and, yeah. and uh, did you ever? I've heard stories about, um, and this is not to say you're old, because you would have been a, a kid if you happened to see her, and Ru and Ruth McGinnis would have been old by the time. But oh. did you ever see her play? Because I've heard she played. She ran hundreds. Yeah. And she played every game as good as a, one of the top guys. Amazing player, yeah. The upper tier, and I would have loved to have seen her play. Yeah. So did you ever see her play? Uh, I wasn't born in 1900, okay, Mary? Well, no, she, no, well, she was, she was, uh, was uh, still... She was back in the roaring 20s now. In the, Give me a break, will you? She was in her prime in the <laughs> 20s and the 30s. I'm saying she would have been elderly mm -hmm. by then. I mean, I saw Irving Crane when he was 80 years old, and but he still played pretty good. Oh, magnificent. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I saw a lot of those old guys. Balsas, you know, those... I played the with 70s. them all. I played against Jimmy Karras. I played Moscone, Lassiter, Balsas, Crane, uh, right, you name it. Uh, I played against them, and uh, it was a lot of fun for me back in the day. Yeah. Okay, meanwhile, back at the game... That was a really uncharacteristic miss, yeah, especially that's... because she didn't really have to play position. The nine is hanging in front of the side. Yeah, she must be that's... nervous. It's a rare, uh, rare miss for her. Yeah. She left uh, Vivian a little tough. She just went and got her extension, and like I say, she just doesn't. She just just make the ball. And uh, she could have scratched off of that tenner. I was just going to say, okay. watch out that she gets by that tenner and tenor doesn't hook herself. fast cloth, very fast table, I noticed. Yep. I always liked watching Vivian play. She, uh, fast and loose. 
You know, she's a ball of concentration, and then on the flip side of that coin, she's... Uh, like that, just like that. ...laughs and giggles a lot. She's not laughing and giggling right now, okay? No, she's not. You know, Vivian, uh, like I said earlier, uh, shoots very quickly, two strokes. Oh. And when she is on, oh, she's, yeah, she's a sight to behold. Plays marvelous. She's a great player, but uh, on occasion... Uh, she does miss, and uh, she misses pretty simple shots. Everybody misses in this game. Oh, yeah, everybody you, does. You, know, you and I have never missed from the side. I had a rail, ball. I had a ball roll <laughs> off on me one time I was a little upset about. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I, everybody misses, you know. And well, sure I, I mean, I've, I've missed. I've seen them all I, miss, every one I of them. have missed shots, I'm telling you. You could throw your cue from 50 yards away and, a, make, it. and make it, and I found a way to miss it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I yeah, just, we all have our list of nightmares. It happens to everyone. Well, anyway. Now, this is a race is to seven, Mary. Race to seven. Race to seven. Race alternate to seven. break. It's Vivian's break. Even if she would have won, it would have still been a break. Instead of 1-1, one, one, it is now 2-0. And an uh, alternate break, the more behind you get, the tougher it is to catch up and win. Yeah, it's tough to put something together That's when right. you, you only can break once. Yep. Win now, one at earlier time. in this tournament, weren't they uh, playing nine ball? No. They weren't. It's, no, it's not been at ten all. ball all the way? Ten ball the whole way. Okay. Call shot, ten ball. Call shot? Yes. Hmm. Rules. And I believe that the 10 doesn't count on the break unless you call it. Is that correct, Daniel? That's correct. Uh, no, it doesn't count on the break. doesn't count, period. You can't even just call it in the corner pocket? No. Okay, so the 9 ball just respots it. It's made on the break. Okay. Well, Karen is going to really bear down. She was lucky to win that game. Yep. And she knows it. And she's going to really bear down. Okay, nice safety. And she did not hit it hard enough. She wanted to bring it to the center of the end rail, probably hide behind the fire of the tent. Yeah, I've always enjoyed uh, watching the women play. Uh, I try to figure out what they're thinking. I know what the men are thinking. But the, well, women, the women, the women are, are the, a the, little different now. Well, no, like I say, the top women think very much like the men. The other ones are still, uh, you know, learning. I mean, we're all learning, but... Uh, You'll be learning for the rest of your life. Exactly. Willie Moscone said to me once that every time he plays, he sees something that has never come up before, something that's what, different. That's what pool is. Yeah. It's a never-ending learning experience pool. That's right. I've been around the sport 60 years and uh, had a good career with it. But uh, to tell you the truth, to be honest with you, I don't know half what there is to know. And I've been around it 60 years. That's, that's right. how difficult the sport is. That's right. That was a great, great kick. She uh, froze the, she hit it and stuck, and uh, is forcing Vivian to jump. Okay, well it's a tough shot. She started out with a little bit of a tough one, but she really doesn't have to play position because the three is in front of the side. So as long as she gets in a reasonable, she's got a pretty big area, so she could just concentrate on making the ball. Okay, now that eight ball counts because the ball that she pocketed went in the hole. Now, if she would have missed the two ball and made the eight, now the what? eight spots. The eight spots. No, spot. no, it stays down, stays down, and the incoming player can accept the accept it or not. Oh, like, I see. Like you'd like to push after the break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. It does not spot. It's amazing that you could uh, be around a sport 60 years as I have and you don't even know the rules anymore. Just reverse the cue ball off the rail. Yeah, that, what a great shot that was. She just uh, reversed the cue ball off of that rail. 
and uh, got herself in the pretty much ball in hand position to get on the five. I mean, that's about where you would want to put it. She's just going to float over and down a little bit. There you go. Shoot the five in the side or the corner. Okay, she probably shoot it in the corner now because she's she going can just, for the corner. Yeah. Forget about the side. Well, she was. Yeah, but anyway, she'll shoot it in the corner now, and, but she doesn't have to do anything because uh, uh, the next ball is uh, right there. I'm hoping I got my colors right. Did I do right? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, did. Thank you, Bolden Move. Neon, neon, <laughs> neon is next. Next neon. That's how I remember it. <laughs> the one that's next. Not the one that's later. <laughs> Uh, that's how old school we are. I don't even know which, what the balls are. I constantly confuse the six and the seven. Some old tricks they can't, some new tricks they can't teach us old yeah. dogs. Well, it looks to me like she's going to have to follow that and just go up uh, one or two rails. Okay, one rail is nice. This is the old pool sharks, this pool room. I, uh, I have to commend uh, Mark Griffin for the wonderful job he's done in uh, restoring this place. This is a really, really a nice place. He didn't just restore it, he made it beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really one, a, one of the nicest it's a, pool rooms I've ever nicest, been in. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's very nice. I don't think she'll miss this 10 ball. Well, you never know. I've seen this missed, but I'm, I'm, I bet to, she will. Not after missing that first one. Yeah. She's she not she going to bear down on that one. And as I've said repeatedly before, you know, I know that I'm in stroke when I get straight in on the money ball. And when I see that, I can tell who's in stroke and who's not. Usually when I hook myself, I know I'm in stroke. <laughs> It is three to nothing, Karen Core. Uh, you told me it was one nothing, Vivian. That was a long time ago, and I was told that. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. You're way behind, Jimmy. You got to pay attention. Uh, here. You know. <laughs> been away for 25 years, right? Yeah, yeah. Ten ball's still blue, right? Still blue. Okay. Okay, three zero, and it's Karen's break. And uh, as the gap widens, it becomes tougher and tougher for Vivian. Vivian uh, now has to wait for Karen to make a mistake. Is this a uh, double elimination then or a, a one double match? Double elimination. Double elimination, okay. Yeah, all the way. Mm hmm that's good. Yeah. True double elimination is what they call it now. Okay, pretty nice break. She made a ball. I think she's got a shot on the one. If it passes the, the nine. Can you switch this table for me, Daniel, so I can see it lengthways? Thank you. Okay, I think the one clears. What do you think? I think the one clears, and if it does, uh, the two balls right there in front of the side. Okay, she's ducking. It must not have. Okay, I think she's got a keyhole. There will be no jump cues today. I'll she might even try to bank it. She did, and she made it. Mm -hmm. What a great shot. Well, she didn't call it? Why would she not call that? She didn't that was a lapse. It. I mean, you know, it's just, you know you're going to send the cue ball down there. I think maybe she was going to try to snooker her behind well, a yeah, three but and a still, nine. Well, yeah, but you still call the two just in case, if you know what's going in the vicinity. Wow. And she had shape. I think she just forgot to call it. Oh, no, she didn't have shape. That's right. She didn't make it. Okay, good shot. Karen Kaur is the going snooker to pinch. Player pinch and squeeze against the gunslinger from San Antonio. That's right. Make her fight to win every game. 
Well, Karen does that with everybody. She plays uh, plays hard, hard. Very. She plays the same game. Well, they're all laying here. Let's see the two to the three. Uh, the f getting from the three to the four, I think, is the key to this uh, to this game because uh, she can't shoot it in that other pocket because the fives block the hole. So she only has one pocket down here. Yeah, it's, it's not an easy out. Yeah, but I think if she gets good on the four, which uh, she's, she looks she like didn't. she's straight in. Now she's a little bit off. A little bit yeah, off she's a right, little bit and off. Uh, yeah, she didn't bounce. Uh, four is going to be a problem. Yeah, well, that's what I said. You get on the four good, she should be out. And I know that's what Vivian's thinking. I got a shot here. At least that's what I'd be thinking. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. <laughs> A lot of the players today, they don't mind shooting combinations. Even like a, a four or five, as you see, is not an easy combination unless you're straight in. But uh, the players today, they, they shoot combinations uh, very well, and they don't seem to mind doing it. She might play position to maybe shoot a combination. Well, I think she'd have to get close to straight in. Well. Now, if it's laying exactly perfect, I would shoot it, you know, like if if if, uh, if the five wasn't there, is it a straight shot into the hole? I might try it, but I think I might be ducking, too, at the same time. We'll see. All right, looks to me like uh, she's going to shoot it. Oh, I was wrong. She went for the bank. Wow, that was a smart shot. Hole ball. Up. Oh, went too far. She needed to keep it underneath Marion. the side. The table's very fast. The table is very fast. Okay. Well, it was a smart shot, but Karen had to keep that ball down table. Uh-oh, did she get up enough? I don't think she got up enough. Not fast enough. Okay, she's gonna she's gonna bank at one rail. Position's pretty simple, so go one, two, three rails out. I'm the playing of the safe table. from here. Well, yeah, but she's going for it. And she missed it. No. She, like I Vivian said, doesn't like to play safe. Vivian is a very offensive no, uh, you know, she likes to be she's on the offense all the time. She's a gunslinger. She right. She uh she's a shooter. And uh I know, I've played her a lot. <laughs> I know her game. Karen, I don't know as well. Um, but Vivian and I, Vivian and I uh, played many, many, many times. When the balls broke good and she was getting shots on the one, she looked like she was Houdini. Yeah. But when the, her break wasn't working, then I, I would win those matches because I, I'd out safe her. Plays, you know, she doesn't play safe well as well uh, as I did. That was her weakness. She and breaks the balls very well. She's got a great break, and like I say, she plays. Uh, she's she's an unbelievable shot maker, and she plays good shape. Um, but if there was a if if she has a weakness, it's her safety game because she uh, the jump shot has uh, helped a lot with the kicking. She doesn't have to kick as much. Okay, around the table. Okay, she hit it too hard. It's going to be close. Okay, yeah, she's, well, she's all right. still got a shot. It's a tough one, but she's got a shot. Very nice, very nice. A commanding okay. four nothing lead for Karen Four. Yep, four nothing, and then Vivian's gonna take a break. And Karen is going to check the speed. Wow. It's one on Eleanor Colano. 
Okay, and in the Allison Fisher Eleanor Collado match, the score is four to one. Allison. Allison is at the table. She just pocketed the one, and uh, I'm looking for the two. Okay, the two. I think the two is hanging in the pocket. So. Their balls are laying good. I don't see any real problems here other than the three to the four. That might be a little tricky. But Allison's, uh, Allison is the favorite to run out here. Okay, bounce off the rail. She's got pretty good shape. I notice all the players today have jump cues. Yeah. I've never used a jump cue in my life, and I try to point it out to amateur players, the people that are trying to learn to play the game. You want to learn how to play this game, get yourself a book on three question billiards. Uh, using a jump cue, you can learn nothing. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, have you ever seen a guy like Up and Reyes use a jump cue? Very of rarely. Of course not. I, never. I saw him once. Never. I saw him I'm, use it once. And really? He borrowed it. He borrowed it. He wow. borrowed it. Wow. In fact, he asked his opponent. If he could use it, and uh, then the guy laughed. <laughs> it was a fellow Filipino, and uh, and, he, and the guy and the guy goes, no, and we all laughed, you know. And then he held it out to him. So, yeah. 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 Learn to play billiards, and then you it helps so much in your game, especially in a game of nine ball and uh, ten ball, where you're playing ball and hand rules and fouls. To learn the game of three cushion billiards is uh, going to help you tremendously. Mm -hmm. It'll help you in everything: your kicking, your po playing position, uh, and you'll also see the balls are bigger and heavy, and you're also uh, it's more obvious. Well, what just, happens just learning to the, the angles of things, uh, things that you can do and things that you can't do. Right. Uh, you you got to know a little bit about billiards to understand when a when a shot is a windy, you know what a windy is, Mary? Oh, well, I, I know what... A what, windy uh, is an impossible shot. Right, okay, shot. I've never heard that term, but I figured it was like a bank that you can't shoot because you can't beat the kiss. It's an old, old-time <laughs> right. Bayard saying, a windy. Yeah, a windy is just a, a, an impossible shot. Yeah, okay. And if you play the game of Bayards, you can see what, what you can do and what you can't do. Right. Well, Allison's a little tough. She's got a long, straight-in shot that she she's like to stick it, but then she's going to leave herself a tough shot on the 10. So she's got to draw it back uh, at least a couple diamonds. Let's see what she does here. Well, she's, well, she's drawing. I think she's trying to. She's queuing low. Oh, she just cinched it. Okay. She just uh, didn't even try. Just wanted to stop it. So she's got uh, a little bit tougher shot on the 10. The 10 is about a diamond and a half in from the end rail and about a half a diamond up and the cue ball is below the side pocket on the rail and she made it. Great shot. Going ahead five to one and back to our game. Vivian is getting ready to break. She trails Alice, uh, Karen four zero. All right, great break, but she did not make anything. This is a, uh, the break for Vivian. Vivian has one of the best breaks on the ladies tour. And uh, playing 10 ball, it's more difficult to make a ball on the break. And uh, if she's going to play on the, continue playing on this tour, she's going to have to figure out the break. She breaks the balls better than a lot of the men, I can tell you that. Yes, but in 10 ball, it's harder to make a ball in the break, and I haven't seen her make a b ball in the break, but very rarely over the last three days. Well, if you're not making a ball on the break, you got to move the cue ball around, that's yeah. all. Yeah. Okay. Karen went for it and missed. Left Vivian a shot she can either bank it into the side or into the corner or she can duck she chose to duck and can you flip me uh daniel nice shot okay. there very nice shot she can see i think uh at least the uh left half if not the whole thing 
but I don't think she can make the ball into the pocket. No, she can't do anything from here. You can. Looks like she's shooting from the Verrazano Bridge. I mean, yeah, you know, well, she's a snooker player. They do that well. <laughs> yeah, she's they just, ought to she's outlaw stuck. snooker players. I don't think it's fair. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you something it's else. Have you ever noticed, and I, I, in my whole career, I have never once seen a bad left-handed player. Do you ever notice that left-handed players all play good? Well, there are some very good left-handed players. I've never, but see, I don't I've know never seen a bad one. They ought to know. outlaw southpaws. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Vivian pocketed the one, and she had a pretty simple safety here on the two. She could have locked her up good, and she let her see it. She's not a happy camper right now. No, she's not. She started out very slow in this match. She gave Karen a shot on the two. Okay, Karen, uh, Karen had to obviously go into the ball to try to... Get a shot, and she was unsuccessful. In fact, she hooked herself, so she's going to have to kick. So Vivian's perked up a little bit. She knows she's got a chance here to get back to the table. Okay. She's trying to try to. She called the pocket. She's going to try to kick it in. She missed the whole ball. Okay. All right. Vivian has ball in hand. They're all laying pretty good. So I think she should be able to get out. I don't see any They're real problems They're laying pretty here. good. I don't know. Yeah. This doesn't look like no Mickey Mouse run out to me. Well, you don't have to do anything really fancy. You know, no, I mean, the, the five easy. is in front of the this side, so all she has to do is Forget pocket about the it. You listen to what Uncle well, Floyd's yeah, telling you. Well, this is not an easy run out. Yeah. Trust me. Well, I understand that, but it's not a very difficult one either. It's, an, it's uh, you know, of course it's not a hanger, but she doesn't have to do anything special. Well, I don't know. I, mean, I don't now know. Now she just rolls down for the five. Can she make the five in a side? Yes. Well, then maybe it might not be so difficult. Mm -hmm. I thought the or five the was corner. a little closer the to the real. No, it's half a diamond out. Oh, See, this is ball. not an easy run out, Mary. Well? You listen to your Uncle Floyd, yeah, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Floyd won, Mary, 50. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, Floyd. <laughs> I know what's going on now. Yeah. I Jeez. can't see anymore, but I hear things. Yeah. Unordinary. If Vivian was winning, she would have run out there. Believe me. Okay, that was a really nice, nice shot. Yep. Perfect speed. Nice shot. Okay. I think she's got a little angle, so she can... Uh, go forward two rails or just uh, stun it and go one. Stun it? Stun it. Oh, are you from Ireland too? There I didn't know that. I thought you were from Jersey. No, I heard that from uh, from Buddy Hall. <laughs> that's Buddy to, Hall? That's what he used to call it. You stun the ball. He's a stunner, Buddy yeah, Hall. Yeah, he sure was. Back in the day, you didn't see anybody lining up to play him. I knew Buddy when he weighed about 120 pounds. Well, what, I, what I heard lately, he weighs about 400 pounds. Yeah, I feel sorry for Buddy. I feel sorry for Buddy. Uh, you know, nobody thought uh, I'd uh, ever put on any weight either. I was always a stick. And yeah. uh, they could have busted me 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would have bet everything I owned that I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't weigh what I weigh today. <laughs> and meanwhile, they would have busted me. <laughs> it's uh, very difficult to lose weight. Very difficult. More difficult than uh, I know. All the overweight people that have been dealing it with, you know, dealing with it their whole lives know it's very difficult. But for somebody that could eat whatever they wanted their whole life, now it's like uh, it's incredibly tough to lose weight. Okay, around the world. There you go. And there's a good example of your three cushion knowledge. There you go. That's right. And uh, she threaded that ball up around the 10 and out to the center of the table, and she's uh, in good shape.
Very nice. A little harder, but she's okay. It's ridiculous. They get it. Well, never mind. I won't say it. Okay, bingo, five, five two, zip. Nothing. Are we looking at possible shutout? Are we looking at a shutout, maybe? Well, it's Karen's break, and she has, I have seen her break and run out in this tournament. So it's not like uh, it would be a first if she does, which would make it six. Then it's Vivian's break, and she's at six nothing. And it's alternate breaks. And I know Vivian's... Uh, you know, we've all put racks together, but you alternate break, you can't do it. You got to win one at a time. Yeah, it's uh, more like tennis, where you know you want to win on your serve, you want to win on your break. Do you still have all of those pictures you used yes, to I have do. at your yes, pool room, Kutopia? I've got probably uh, well, I had 300 on the walls of the pool room. I've got 10,000 on Facebook, and I've got another 10,000 that I haven't got to yet, mm -hmm. gotten to yet. So, uh, I remember going in there one day and I was looking at all the pictures and I thought to myself, geez, uh, she ain't even got my picture. And the guy said, yeah, he just got your picture. I said, well, where is it at? You put it over next to the men's bathroom. You know what? You could have at least put it by the woman's bathroom, okay? <laughs> all right. Her break is so consistent. Her cue ball is parked uh, near the center of the table. I don't see any problems here. Uh, the balls are all free. You don't see any problems here. Well, I'm looking, you play awfully good because I see a lot of problems here. Well, I and when starting I say out that, with the one ball, okay, that'll be number one problem. I understand. Are that. you okay today? Are you feeling fine? When I say <laughs> that I don't see any problems, I say there are no balls tied up. Those are what I consider problem areas. Now, of course, uh, the shot on the, uh, she, she has no this shot on the one. going to be a pretty good shot, let me tell you. She yeah, makes a yeah, shot. Yeah. Okay, and she and did. she smoked it. She, she smoked did, it. and she's got uh, the six, I believe that's the six hanging in front of the side. Now, she's got to slow down and think a little bit. Make sure she gets out here. Okay. All right, the two ball stayed where it was, and she hooked herself. Mm -hmm. And that's what I mean about paying attention. She had to, that's all she had to do. Two things, make sure the cue ball stayed in front of the side pocket, and then don't hook yourself. But she's jumping. No so jump this trick. is an advantage. Right. Okay, well, she hit it. But left the ball in front of the lower left-hand corner pocket. And I suppose you think this is an easy run out, Joe? I didn't say it was easy. I said it has no, no real problems. If you can play, if you're a, a, the player that Karen Core is, it is a routine rack. It's not an easy rack, but she's shot much tougher racks Back than this. Back when you now. were in your prime, perhaps all this was routine. Well, no, I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not saying that at all. There are no problems in this rack. You don't have to break anything up. You're not. Uh, there's no problems. If there is a problem, it's the five, the four to the five. Now the four to the five is a major problem. Because, well, anyway. Well, where, where is the five going to go other down in, in, in a corner in the angle she's got on the four? Eh, this is not an easy position for the no, five it's not. by no, it, it's not. By no stretch of the But that's because... Money. She tipped it out. But. Okay, a little bit of a bump. Well, she's got a combination. 
She's going to shoot it, too. And she's going to shoot it because the five figures to stay in that area, and she just has to uh, make sure she has a shot in the same side because the eight is blocking this corner. She may just thin the five and duck behind the uh, six ball there, or she the seven ball, too. I guess it is, the she seven ball. That and that's probably, you know, if she's not comfortable with the combination, she's going to go right behind the... Yeah, uh, she's looking, she's lying. Yeah, she's going to look at it, but is she going to shoot it? Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's occurred to her she was a snooker player. <laughs> she was a she's, great snooker player. She's got an easy safety here. Six, now she's going to play the uh, play the combo. Yep. She missed yep. it. Wow. Combinations are not easy. And over on the other table, Allison Fisher leads Miss Collado six to two. So Allison is on the hill and she is breaking. Banking this five ball cross side. Okay, good shot. But she hooked. Good shot, no cigar. So out comes the jump cue again. She has not had an opportunity to really get something going during the match uh, since it started. She seems like she's just uh, constantly in trouble here and uh, and missing balls, which is a little bit rare for Vivian. She's an excellent shot maker. Yes, she is. She's using that jump cue for about the third or fourth time. Mm -hmm. And there it goes, out of the stadium. This is why I don't like using jump cues. Well, that was unfortunate. And you know, Jimmy, you know how it is when you get behind. You know, every time, you know, if you do get a chance to get to the table, everything is either tough or it looks real tough. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, uh, you know, and that's what, that's what Vivian's fading. You got to roll and, uh, the dice at times, and uh, yeah. Well, Vivian, that's what she does, but uh, and I think she knows that uh, she's not going to get another shot here, or doesn't figure to. Let's put it that Never way. say that. I'm not going to mention her age. <laughs> okay, great shot. Mm -hmm. So you got to kiss the set, the ten, and uh, it was ugly, but I think she's going to get there. I wonder if the shot clock is rattling her. Where is the shot clock, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't, haven't you seen them a gesture to him several times that when they had to wait for someone at the other table to shoot, and, you know, to stop the clock? That's what I was going to say before. You know, they've had many matches here that went very long, and now they put, you know, uh, two of the best players in the tournament on a shot clock on the last day. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> I was going to say that before, and then I didn't. Meanwhile, Vivian is down right. by a touchdown. It's 6 nothing going to 7. Down by a touchdown. That's good. I like that, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. well, I, uh, <laughs> I know a little bit about football. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Uh. Karen's Karen's gonna go for the extra point here, I think. Am I right? Am I right? How'd I do? <laughs> She's gonna go for what? What did you do? The piece? extra point. <laughs> yeah, the extra point. If she can do something with this one ball, I don't know if she can make it, but she can <laughs> stick the cue ball right there and perhaps behind the uh, mm -hmm. six ball. Yep. And a pretty easy basic safety if she doesn't have the room to cut this ball in. Yeah, I don't think she does. 
Well, she's going to come to the other side of the one ball. And go around. And, uh, I didn't like that shot. I, I she would've... must not have been able to stick it. Because uh, if she could see the full ball, or at least 90% of it, she would have done that. Yeah. That was not her first choice. She's not giving Vivian any chance to get loose. No, you know, Vivian's, no, no. Uh, you know, the type of player that she needs to run a rack or two and get loose. Get loose. But uh, right. Karen's playing her real tight, mm -hmm. and that's uh, a smart move when you're mm -hmm. when you're playing an excellent shot maker. Yep. And to be fair, as I said earlier. Uh, the Paul seem to know who's winning, and Vivian has come oh, to the yeah. table m several times with nothing, you know. Uh, so had to, didn't have a uh, a way to get out. Okay, she's in the trees. She kicked. She got a rail, mm -hmm. and Deep. I think Deep. she's gonna leave Vivian in the trees. And once again, she's going to be jacked up. This is not going to be an easy shot. She's no. going to have to use the rake. Yep. And this is not not going to be an easy shot. Now they're hunting for a bridge. I hope uh, the guy remembered to turn off the shot clock. Okay. Allison Fisher just won her match. She deleted, defeated, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, six three. oh, it's 6-3. I apologize. My apologies. I apologize. Allison leads the match 6-3 over Eleanor Collado. It is Eleanor's break. Okay. She must have made the one while I was... Yeah. Busy with the yeah, other table. Yeah, she made a decent shot on the one, but now she's she got has a, tough a, shot on the a two. difficult shot here. This is a, a difficult shot. Okay, she played safe. And I think... She's got a shot on I think she ball. can see it, don't you? I, th I think she can see it. Yeah. Just enough to make it, I yeah. think. Yeah, and I think she just she rolls forward and bumps into the eight. That's all. And played a three, three in the side. side so four in the side, five in the corner. We could be looking at a shutout, Mary. Could be. Could be. Okay, just uh, pocket the ball. Maybe roll up a little bit if you can. And try to get fairly straight on the four so you can roll forward for the five. Six to the six is pretty good. I don't think she's got a pocket. I think this nine is blocking the pocket for the uh, six ball, or she may have a half a pocket. So that might be a problem. That's a yeah, seven ball. Okay, she didn't have an angle. She's okay. Mm. Hmm. She must not have. Uh, okay. Okay, well, let's take a look here. I think she can cut it backwards into the uh, lower right-hand corner pocket. Those back cuts uh, give people a lot of problems. Some people hit them in beautifully, and other people really struggle with them. Snooker players, I think, struggle less. Yes. Yeah. I think she's just going to slide over. There you mm -hmm. go. Bounce off the rail a little bit. Nice. Very nice. It was important for her to get off the rail because, uh, as I'm sure you know, you get frozen to the rail or it limits your position. I always loved shooting off the rail. It never bothered me at all. I loved shooting off the rail. I would play the business position to put my cue ball by the rail. Well, not yeah, but not on the rail. By the rail, on fine. the rail, it didn't matter to me. Well, I just, uh, I, I was always I'd like to see you draw your ball. Uh, when well, I didn't say I could draw the ball the length of the table, but I mean, shooting off the rail never bothered me. No, of course not. Uh, at, the, at the very top level, uh, it shouldn't bother anyone, but it sure limits your position po possibilities because you can only hit the top of the ball. 
We're looking at a shutout, and who would have ever uh, thought that this would be a shutout? You get pretty good odds on the money on that, okay? She's making a statement, that's for sure. Especially here in Viva Las Wages, could have got good, good odds. <laughs> Nice shot. A little bit of a bounce. Now me, I wouldn't have shot it that way. I would have wanted to bounce off the rail so I would have I could avoid using the bridge. But Karen doesn't mind. She and Allison used the, the bridge just well, phenomenally. Yeah. Being snooker players they use that bridge a yeah, lot. Yeah. Very and nice. she is going to pack it in right now, the gunslinger okay. from San Antonio, Vivian Villa, Villarreal. Got shut out seven to nothing. Unbelievable. Well, you know, it, I've just been told that it's Karen Kaur's birthday today. Mm -hmm. next oh, next week. Oh, okay, next week. I misheard. Okay, mm -hmm. well, anyway, uh, for those of you who want to know how old she is, she is exactly going on 39. And, uh, her birthday is November 10th, and uh, if you want to know how uh, old she is, you can. She's on Facebook. You can uh, private message her, and maybe she'll tell you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, she just defeated, uh, just shut her out, like Jimmy said. It was a shutout. Yeah, Vivian Villarreal. So Karen uh, has a seat in the finals, and now she's waiting for. There's four players left, so Allison is ahead of. Eleanor Collado, six to three, and she is at the table shooting the seven with a bridge. But as I just said, the snooker players uh, use that bridge very well. Okay. Well, with having won this match, uh, Karen Core, I think I will take a pause for the cause and I uh, thank you for inviting me into the booth it was short but it was sweet and uh, I wish the players all the best of luck enjoyed it Jimmy all right we'll thank you Mary sometime. nice thank seeing you. you again yeah you too we go way back way back way too long get my picture out of the bathroom way <laughs> Okay, well, thank you, Jimmy, Mattia, and thank you, Mary Keniston. Um, we're going to take a short break. It looks like Allison is shooting at the 10 right now. And it goes. And Eleanor Collado is uh, eliminated in fourth place uh, by Allison Fisher. So congratulations to Eleanor who uh, will receive ooh, $1,425 to Eleanor Collado from San Francisco. I know the Collado family is thrilled. So we will be back. Thanks, everybody. Vivian Villarreal will play Allison Fisher.